Hi friends, how are you doing today? Thank you for tuning in to today's video. Today's video is a studio tour and a little chat about art studios. This is the first time I've had a, a little studio of my own, a place to work. Um, it is something I've always wanted, but um, I do find it extremely useful to have everything together and everything nicely put together there for me to use at my convenience. So today we're just going to have a look around the studio and a little chat about, you know, studios and all of that. So the first thing I'm going to show you is my bookshelf. Now you've seen, for people who watched my last video, I did a video about my favourite books for 2024 and it was one of my better videos. So thanks to everybody who took the time to watch that video and you know it really does help when people take a time to watch it and please do feel free to leave a comment and a like on this video well anyway we'll start the studio tour by looking at my shelf so we're looking at the, first, the top shelf underneath the books first so you saw there there was a canvas bag in there so this would I would put all my travel stuff that I would take out if I want to do some outdoor sketching and that. I just have everything in there. Now when I'm going out I don't take everything that's in this bag. But whatever it's all there together anyway, all my stuff for outdoor sketching. So I can just grab the bag, leave what I don't want to use on the table and take the bag of other things with me. It's nice to kind of have a little um sketchbook I can kind of play with as well and not be very precious about what's inside it. So then we have a box and what's in this box? It's a box of lovely art materials. So here's some little um, outdoor stuff I would have done there in the summer and I just clipped them all together, the ones and um, I don't know why I had them clipped out. I think I pulled them out of the sketchbook so I just have them there. So you have like some of my watercolors, some art materials that I still want to do are projects on like line or cutting and that's something I really want to try and make time to do. You'll see some of my paint brushes. <clears throat> this box has a real kind of mix of things, some Indian ink and that's kind of it. There's a couple of things there that I don't use very often but they're there anyway and I can use them whenever I feel that urge to do so. Then we're going to look in Let's see what comes up next. It's, it's going to be one of my boxes, another box. We're looking at the paint box. So we got these, I got these lovely golden paints a while ago, but I still haven't made time to use them. I think I'm a bit too precious about them. I think I should just use them, why not? And then I have a little box of textiles. Mind you, I don't have a sewing machine right now. <coughs> So I haven't been really doing much with textiles, but I know I want to do some more. I would love to um, do some more textile art and more textile things. But for now, I'll stick with the painting and drawing for the time being. There's some of my tech stuff, my microphone, a light, a ring light, which I haven't actually used yet. And then you'll see some of my extension cards and leads and some old, um, CDs of like old stuff in my portfolio. Now we have a little box of treasures what I call my inspiration box. So I have two of these but this is the first one it's full of leaves and things. I love these to pull out when I can draw them when I can't go outside to draw. And this one as well is filled with different things I collect on my nature walks. I try not to take too much things from nature but if I see something um, that's just lying on the floor I may take it so there now we have some pine cones some shells a little branch of of leaves you know just some little pretty things that I can draw and take inspiration on on a day that I feel a bit stuck but mind you I think them in themselves are wonderful to use for artwork so one of my goals for this year is to actually open an ST shop. So here you're going to see um, some things for that. Now the stickers I'm not too sure about. I wasn't 100% happy with them but they might be used for packaging or something. 
But anyway, there we go. I printed out some various different little things like stickers and <clears throat> small prints, little prints. And then I printed out some postcards as well. And these are really lovely. Sometimes actually, you know, I do give them out to family and friends, but I, when I open my Etsy shop, I'll probably have these little packet of those that people can purchase. But I do really like those a lot. I like my art to be accessible to people. Like if they like it, they should be able to get like a little postcard or something small. So the next box is a little box of things like business cards and stuff like that. So there you see I got some business cards printed there last year. So there I have it's a business card that I'm really happy with. So I love that. So I have a whole little stack of those in there. And I think the other thing is a stamp and just a few odd things. So then we're on to the next shelf. Most of my stuff is stored on this shelving unit. So that's why you're going to see a lot of clips of it. So here's another experimental art thing, the cyan type. I want to hopefully play around with that. Um, so I do as well. So that'd be fun. And then I have heavy body acrylic paints, which I really like using because sometimes acrylics can be quite transparent. And then my favorite paints, Daniel Smith watercolor paints, which I just simply adore so much. So, and there you go, I have my little boxes of paint. An essential tool. So here we are, some, some baby wipes, perfect for cleaning, and especially cleaning paint. And a box of stuff for sticking things. So that's a very handy box, that one. It's really handy to have a box like that with adhesive stuff. So this is a box of like things I need, like a big box of black paint. Some, some, I think that's a paint thinner or an extender, drying time extender, PVA, glues. There's a few, there's quite a few ones in this box that are glue. So this one is the flow improver. This one is a, is a varnish. There's a couple of varnishes in there anyway, you know. I like this little tree because it's just, I can put one colour on if I'm doing a small little thing. Some gesso, always an essential, especially if you do canvases. Some varnish, satin varnish. I like the satin varnish. I don't like the pieces to be shiny or too matte, so the satin's a nice in between for me. And then some mount spray. This stuff is for sticking on, if you're using gold leaf, you paint that on first. And then this is a gel medium. So I'm not really sure why I bought that, to be honest, I haven't really used it. And then I have a couple of packets of gold leaf and then some silver leaf. So they were um, things I liked using for a while and actually it's something I might go back to again. I did really like the effect of the gold leaf and silver leaf on the paints. So then we're on to the next shelf. Now this shelf I didn't take many clips from because it's just like a box of of old, um, not old but CDs and see old CDs and DVDs that I've watched and some postcards that are ready to sell at the retreat days, notebooks. There's nothing really in there. Oh, I think there's a staple going in there and some bulldog clips. So that's it, other than what's in this box. So as the shelves go down, they tend to have a little less in them. That's a spare notebook. And then some envelopes. I sometimes, I like to have the coloured envelopes. Some packets for the postcards. Some card backings for the little prints. This is for clipping the corners. I want to do a round edge on the on any of my sketchbooks or anything and here's an overall view of the studio it is a tiny little studio for sure you know a really tiny but I value it so much 
Like for me, having a studio isn't necessarily about having this brilliant, perfect place. What's more important than having a studio, equipment or anything is taking the time or carving the time out in your life to actually sit down and make the art. Like it's wonderful to have the tools and the space and everything, but the fundamentals are important that you sit down and you make the time to make art and you make it the priority that it is for you. And now we're moving on to under the table. I've got a lovely set of drawers. It's obviously the IKEA one. I think you see it on every single art studio video, but it's just it's such a good thing because all your flat work, you can fit like literally thousands of pieces in this thing. So it's brilliant. And me, I love my sketchbooks. So I'm just kind of addicted to sketchbooks a little bit. I just love them when I go to art shops. I kind of have to stay away from the sketchbook section because I just love looking at them and I love using them. I love going out with them and drawing in them and, you know, just generally working in that nice, in my nice sketchbooks. I love the qualities of a decent paper and all of that in sketchbooks. So this is one of the ones from the summer that you're seeing here. You would have seen me make videos and on my social media clips clips from this little sketchbook here yeah i'm particularly proud of that one all right hopefully i'll finish off strong now there's not many pages left in it a nice strong finish of that sketchbook and maybe i'll share it here if people are interested in seeing it this is another one now yeah another one that i'm actually quite proud of as well actually <coughs> Sometimes when I'm cleaning and tidying my studio, I look through some of my old art and I'm reminded of all the lovely little things I've done over the years. So it's really, it really is um, rewarding sometimes to tidy your space and, and, you know, get rid of extra things that you don't need. So that is um, a drawer full of half-used sketchbook, half-used sketchbooks, and some of them are actually fully used. I just like them there so I can get some inspiration out of them. This one is only one or two pages used. And then I have some mixed media papers and watercolour papers. Then this drawer has my um, visual merchandising portfolio and a couple of sketches in there. Kept nice and safe. Then this one will be some of my older sketchbooks or some of the sketchbooks I wouldn't really that I don't feel like I need to have close to me because of my other ones, I'm kind of, if they're full, I'm looking at them for inspiration or I'm pulling some of the drawings out of them for one project or another. Whereas these ones, maybe they're sketchbooks I took on holiday, so I don't really um, need to look at them so much, you know. So, so that will be the case for this one. I had a video, I have a video on my channel about this trip, so if anybody wants to have a look back at that, that is there and ready and waiting for anyone who has interested in seeing the trip I took to Antibes and visiting um, Henry Matisse's um, art gallery. It was an awesome trip and the sketchbook, um, sketchbook is loved much as I love it. Not sure if it does justice for the whole trip, but it was an amazing trip. But I am rather proud of that sketchbook. That's why you're seeing so much of it here. So yeah, that's a, um, a drawer of older sketchbooks. This one is, a, is more of the same, kind of very much older sketchbooks. And um, I think I even have a photo album, the one in my hand now, that's a photo album. And some of these sketchbooks will be very old, like some of them will be just post-college, post-college, so they're even up to 10 or 15 years old, they're very old. Now we're getting a quick look at what I'm working on at the moment. A little aerial view of the mess of the floor and my little drawing board a little picture of Frida always an inspiration and on the bottom shelf you just see some extra art um, books and bits and pieces here now I'm spray painting this this painting that I just finished with and I thought I'd share with you guys because 
It is a painting I'm quite proud of. You can see I have a phone in my hand. I'm actually recording a clip to share on on Instagram and hopefully TikTok as well. Probably both, um, since I have an account in TikTok. TikTok, Instagram, I have my YouTube channel and a Facebook page. So I probably recorded and put, put the clip everywhere really because it's this will definitely be an art piece that I'm really proud of and hopefully I'll be able to do more pit, more beautiful pieces like that this year to a standard that I'm really happy with and really proud of. Well, thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Please leave a comment about your art studios or your space to make art and please leave a like and a subscription. It's a lot to ask, but thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching and really have a brilliant day and a wonderful week. Bye for now.